Well, good morning, good morning, good morning to each and to every one of you. So good to see you on this morning, y'all. Come on in. This is another day, another day that God has blessed us with. Yes, he blessed us. He chose us. He chose you and he chose me that we would be coming together on this morning during this time of distancing. We are yet connecting, connecting one with another, but more importantly, we are connecting with God. Y'all come on in. This is another day, another day that God has made for us. Hallelujah. I just come to rejoice and to be glad. Anybody glad on this morning? Glad to be here, just glad to be in the land of the living, glad that he touched you this morning, that he woke you up. This is another day just to give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning for coming and joining us in praise. I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church South here, our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver, and we are so, so delighted that today we have this opportunity that you have chosen to come to praise God with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. We just know we're praying today that something today will just bless your heart, inspire you to run on just a little while longer. But today, y'all, guess what? We are steadily moving. Today is day 27. Day 27 of our 31-day devotional. We are praising God this entire month of August. The month is almost over, y'all. Here we are, day 27. Oh, how awesome is your power. Hallelujah. Somebody say, oh, how awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, how awesome is your power, God. Oh, hallelujah. And we just praise you for that on today. Come on, y'all. We're going to get ready. Let's get ready to go to God now in praise. Here we are. Oh, Lord. Lord, we extol you for your great power towards us who believe. God, your tremendous invincible power that works in us and for us. God, the same, the same almighty strength and power you use when you raised Jesus from the dead and seated him far above all of the powers, visible and invisible. God, you are able to infinitely beyond all our highest prayers of thoughts. Nothing, God, nothing is impossible with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you that when we praise you and bring our requests to you in simple faith, we plug into your almighty power. Hallelujah. That power that when we offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving, we open a door, God. We open a door for you to rescue us and to bless our life. And we prepare the way for you to rescue and bless other people near and far. Hallelujah, God. God, hallelujah, hallelujah. How awesome is your power Hallelujah. So great today. So great, God, is your power that your enemies cringe before you. Yes, yes. We lift our praise to you, God, for no human imagination can take in the startling revolutionary power softly or subtly, but with irresistible sweep that flows down, God, from the crown Christ among grateful men and women. Yes, God, God, the spirit. Spirit, the spirit that flows through the lives of individuals wholly under the gracious influence of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, God, through people, through people, God, who simply live in full face touch with Christ and who take the power, the power as the need arises and the sovereign Holy Spirit leads us. Oh, yes, God, we thank you this morning. We thank you that we are part of a vast army of people around the world, people who live in full face touch with your son and move your mighty hand to bring about your gracious purposes. 
Today, God, we just thank you that our influence and our victories are not by human might or power, but by your power and by your strength. Spirit. Hallelujah, God. We just thank you and praise you right now, God, for you are an awesome God. You are a powerful God. Oh, how awesome is your power. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise on this morning for he has the power. He is able to do whatever it is, whatever is needed. God can do it for he has the power to make it happen. Hallelujah, God. Thank you. Thank you right now, God. Oh, we praise you on this morning. Hallelujah. Let's go now to our scriptures for this morning. Oh, how awesome is your power, God. We're going now to Ephesians, Ephesians 3, verse number 20. It says, now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think according to the power that is at work within us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now to him. <laughs> now, right now to him who is able. God is able to do far more abundantly. Abundantly, that means large amounts. Abundantly is more than enough. He is able to do abundantly more than all the we can ask or think. Can you imagine? Oh, I can ask some stuff now. Oh, I can think of some stuff now that I want, that I need. I can ask or think, but he can give some apply far more abundantly than all that we can ask or just think about it. Anybody just sit back and think about it. Really just begin to write down, jot down some things in your mind that you would ask God for. Jot down some things in your mind that you would just think about. Oh, it'd be nice if God would just do this, take care of this for me. It says he is able to do far more abundantly than all that we could ask or think according to to the power at work within us, the power that he has given us, the power, the faith, the love, the joy, the Christ that we have in us. He does this work according to the power that is within us. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. We thank you for your power, God. We thank you for your abundant love. We thank you, God, for all that you are able and will do in our lives. Come on, somebody. Let's give God some praise on the day for he has the power to do whatever it is that we need him to do. Glory to God. Yes, hallelujah. Let's go now to Luke. We're going to go over to Luke 1 and 37. Very, very short scripture, but oh, it is a powerful scripture. It says, for nothing will be impossible with God. Hallelujah. God, I love that right there. Nothing is impossible. Nothing. Oh my God. Any situation, any desire, any need, nothing is impossible with God. It's impossible with us. There are some things that we just can't do. Things, Plenty of things that we're not able to accomplish to make happen on our own. But God, the word says here, nothing will be impossible with God. We just got to have God in our lives. We just got to trust to God. We just got to seek God. We just have to have a relationship with him, have faith in him, have it, the power working within us. It says, for nothing will be nothing, not anything, nothing at all. You can't imagine will be impossible with God. Hallelujah, God. I thank you. Hallelujah, God. I thank you for making the impossible possible. Hallelujah, God. Yes. Yes, God, with you, for nothing will be impossible. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, we love you, God. We love you, God. You're an awesome God. Your power. Hallelujah. You're mighty. Let's go now to Psalm. We're going to skip over to Psalm 66, verse number three. Psalm 66, verse number three. Here it is. It says, say to God. How awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. Hallelujah. Oh, man, you know you are powerful. 
powerful when your enemies cringe when you come in the room. Your enemies cringe at the sound of your name. It says, just say to God, how awesome. Somebody say, how awesome. Say, how awesome are your deeds, God? Yeah, yeah, how awesome. How awesome are your deeds. So great is your power, God, that your enemies cringe before you. They just crumble and fall. They run. They scatter when you come into the room. Hallelujah, God. I just thank you for how awesome you are, the power that you have. You just walk in the room. You say, I got it. And it's, believe me, it is taken care of for when you come through. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, God, you are awesome and your power. The enemies cringe. Our enemies flee. We just got to have you, God, in our corner, God. We just got to have a relationship with you, a fellowship with you. We can't go off of what mama them said and what papa them said, but we got to just have our own relationship with you, their own, our own power dwelling within us that your enemies, God, our enemies will cringe before us. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's give God some praise on this morning for he is an awesome God. He is a mighty God and he is a powerful God. Oh, how awesome is your power. Hallelujah, God. Yes, God, we praise you on this morning. Hallelujah. Let's get ready to go to God in prayer. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, God, this morning we just come today, God, we just come praising you, praising you, God, for just how awesome your power is, God. You are almighty, you are all powerful, God. You are able to do abundantly above what we can ask or think, God, anything that we can imagine, God, anything that might seem impossible. God, we know you have the power to make it possible, so we thank you and praise you for that on this morning. Good God about it. Lord, hallelujah. We just thank you right now. Oh God, how awesome you are. How awesome you are. Heavenly Father, we are just, just bless your name on this morning. We lift you up, God. We magnify you. For you are able to do anything. Heavenly Father, we just ask you right now, continue to, to just touch this land, this world, this country, God. We know you have the power to heal, the power to deliver. You have the power to do all that is needed during this time. God, you have the power to remove obstacles. You have the power to remove individuals. God, you have the power to set things in order. So we just ask you right now, we're calling on you, God. You said you far more than we can ask a thing right now. God, we are asking you to move on our behalf. God, continue to be with us. God, make something happen now that you might get the glory that all will see you in it. God, we're just trusting you right now. We're trusting your power, God. We're trusting you to move on our behalf, God, for we know that nothing is impossible with you, God. You deliver abundantly more than we can ask or think. So we're asking, God, we're thinking now, we're blessing you now, God, that you might move on our behalf, God. Do it for your glory and for your honor. Hallelujah, we praise you. Heavenly Father, we ask you right now, God, that you would just continue to keep us, keep our families, God, can strengthen us, God. Draw us closer, God. Have us be close to you, God. Have us to trust in you even the more, even though there are some difficult times, some difficult situations, God, but have us to stay focused on you, for you have the power to do whatever it is we need. Hallelujah. Now, God, keep us that we might be kept and bless us, God, that we may be more of a blessing to someone else. God, do it for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said amen and amen. Come on, let's give God some praise in this place. If you agree with it, if you declare it, if you decree it right now, how awesome is his power? He's able to do anything but fail. Then you ought to send up some heart, send up some love. Let God know today that you are happy about him being in you, the power that lives within us. Hallelujah, God, we thank you. We thank you for who you are. Yes, yes, hallelujah, God. We praise you on today. Heavenly Father, we just thank you right now. We can't thank you enough. Again, I am Reverend Davis, Executive Pastor here 
at First Baptist Church South here. Our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver. We are happy today that you have chosen to praise God, to praise God with us. And we trust and pray that this was a blessing to you. That it was a blessing to you on today. If it was a blessing, please, please share this. Share this word with somebody else. So they might recognize, that they might know, that they might be influenced, that they might say, oh yeah, God is awesome. He is powerful. He can do what it is I need him to do. I don't have to go this way alone. I just have to look to God, trust him and seek him and allow him to work on my behalf. Share this word. Share it today with someone else. We ask you now to tune in with us. Tune in. Thank you for tuning in today, but tune in with us on tomorrow. Tune in with us at 8 a.m. on my page, 8.30, 8.30 a.m. on First Baptist Church South Hills page. And we trust and pray that you will be blessed for having done so. Hallelujah. I just thank you again so much for tuning in. And just please know today that I love you, but God, God loves you best. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.